YouTube color coming here today. I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking uh, about catching up with each other. I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what I've been up to the last three weeks, uh, upcoming trips that's gonna be taking place very soon, uh, and lastly, uh, a couple of trip day trips that I've been doing with my family that have been very inspiring for me. Uh, just to get that bonding moment where where my family has been very creative and. Yeah, I want to share that with you guys. So the last couple of weeks, I've been going through a creative rut where I really don't know what type of content I want to be creating for you guys. Even though I'm going through this creative rut, I haven't stopped taking photos. I'm just having to create video for these photos. I've done a couple of videos where I, they, I do take weekend trips to the city of Plovdiv or Houston Dill or when I'm walking around here in the city of Sofia. I do take my uh, my GoPro with me and I took, do take one of the two cameras that I have just because I want to get the momentum, keep the momentum going and I don't want to stop. I've been writing down all my ideas. Uh, some of my ideas are great. I like to develop my ideas and then hopefully it does come out to a concrete uh, video content that I could produce for you guys. I'm the type of person that I cannot just create a video from scratch and just for the hell of it, I like to build my ideas, write down ideas that I have and put supporting factors that will make the video content more enjoyable for you guys and enjoyable for me to make it. Unfortunately, my son has been getting sick uh, very re recently, uh, every now and then, and that requires one of us, uh, by us, I mean my wife and I, to take, take time off from work and stay with the child while he recovers. He doesn't get very ill, but he gets ill with the cold, with the flu, and that does take, we do take him away from his kindergarten so we can stay with him he, for he could recover faster and get his immunity uh, back up. He has had COVID twice and has been a, an experience like no other, um, but we're just happy that he's fine and he's doing well. Um, that's all we could wish for him. Uh, a couple of trips that are gonna come up uh, soon will be one is to Turkey. Uh, Turkey and Bulgaria are nearby, so we're gonna be, my wife and I will be going with her sister, which is my sister-in-law and her boyfriend. We're gonna be going to Turkey. Uh, it's tulip season in Turkey and it's gonna be amazing. I've heard a lot of uh, stories of how beautiful is the city. I've been there once, it was just a layover and I really did not get the time to enjoy my time there because it was just a couple of hour layover. You really cannot get the full understanding of everything that's taking place during the layover. But hopefully this time around, since we're gonna be there for a couple of days, I get to capture some street uh, uh, street photos, architecture, these amazing tulips and, and both in photos and video content and I can show you guys. An exciting trip for me is uh, going back home. <laughs> it's been two years since the last time I was home, uh, pre-pandemic when I moved here to Bulgaria and I'm looking forward to it because I haven't seen my family. It's, it's gonna be a two weeks trip where I get to see my mom, I get to see my sister, I get to see my niece. My niece is turning 18 and she's graduating high school which is crazy time has passed so fast but i'm very excited to see them so for the past two months my wife and i have been going to the city of Plovdiv, which is like an hour 15 an hour and a half depends on how fast you drive depends how fast you get there but it's it's nearby uh, it's, a, it, it's a it's a one day commute for us and it's an amazing city we enjoy there because the, the city of Plovdiv is a great place for artists because it's very artsy uh the energy there is very different to where every er, 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 everywhere else where i've been uh i like the, the 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 common language that people speak there because it's like everybody speaks art even though they're doing different type of art whether they're doing painting sculptures a photographer or architectures you know everybody is doing something related to the arts and you can feel it the minute you get there other than that the food and the restaurant it reminds me of like downtown the, the village where you get those brunch like those brunch menu the energy from there is amazing from the minute you get there to the minute you leave you get the energy and it feels amazing this is why we like to go there other than going to the city and exploring it i've been attracted to this mosque that just 
it's a touristic location it serves as a mosque as well as a, a place a restaurant it does both the mosque has been the subject matter for every time i go just because it represents energy it represents productive in a way and to me it, it just looks amazing in images it, it has a lot of rich history in it and it can tell a story no matter where you are the unique thing about this mosque is that no no matter where you are in the city of Plovdiv, that mosque stands out and what i've been doing every time i go i try to capture the mosque from different locations even if i go on different on different days i do capture the same photos from the same location because the weather is different, the sun is shining one day, there's more people, you get the people vibe, the, the energy that's coming through, or if I capture it on a, on a, on a quiet day, it's very different. Just to get different perspective, um, I've been loving that. The last time I was there in Plovdiv, uh, we took our son with me, uh, with us. My son has shown interest in, the, in, in my creative art that I like. He has an Insta, Insta camera. We didn't put any film inside because he has a tendency of shooting all 10 film right there and then and it's very costly but this experience that we that happened in Plo the last motivated me to keep creating photography and also to buy him a point and shoot camera. One that he could just take with him every time we go out to take photos just because he showed interest in my craft and I would love to explore that for him. I would love for him to get to express himself in different way and I get, I get to see his eye compared to mine and maybe I could learn from him instead of he learning from me. So guys I hope you guys are enjoyed today's video it's just a small catch up I would love to know what type of content you guys would like me to focus on either portrait, street photography, night photography, maybe some landscape I'm not big in the landscape because I haven't done it in a while but it will be a new challenge. For those that are new my name is Ramon Brito I'm a photographer who enjoys capturing moments and sharing them with you guys. I like to talk about gear and how I use my gear to capture the images that come from my head and make them come to life. If you're down for that you already know what to do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao guys.